Okay, so this is the space, I guess, hyperlane. I think I called it a hyperlane. I don't know space what it's tube? actually called. Space tube. Space tunnel. Space colon. Colon. Yep. I like that one. <laughs> and so, yeah, yeah. This is the planet. I think we're still on the Atreides planet. Mm-hmm. And then I guess this over here. Oh, oh. Is that another planet over there? Yeah, it is. It is. Are we literally seeing like through the tube, like through yeah. the fabric of space to the other yeah. object? So it looks like if we follow, if we just take a velocity vector normal to the screen right now, right into it, and just head in through there, I don't. Doesn't look like I need to be high on drugs to get through this, right? I mean, it wouldn't hurt. I wouldn't. In fact, it looks so simple that I could be on all kinds of drugs, and yep. it looks like I'm going to make it. That's right. Yeah. So this is making me feel like the Mentats don't really need to be on drugs. In fact, look how look how smooth this flight is. So smooth. They're just, just zipping right through. Not a problem. So I guess one thing I could think of is like, okay, maybe from the outside looking through the tube, it looks nice mm-hmm. and clean. But if you're in the tube, it's actually quite overwhelming and scrambled. And the only way to understand that is using the hallucinations through spice. So when you're actually if you're actually in that ship in the middle of the tube. It's incomprehensible. It's only comprehensible when looking from the outside. Isn't there stuff in GR where it's like you're looking at a black hole from the outside, it looks one way, but if you're right next to the black hole, it's totally different, um, even though it's the same space? That's true. You get weird things for like time dilation. For example, like when you pass the event horizon, your time, like when people watch you, you get frozen in time. And when you mm-hmm. look out, you see the evolution of the entire universe, like weird stuff like that. Yeah. And so I guess, I guess. Thinking about that now, what happens to you when you are just crossing that boundary? Like, 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 say you fall into the, a black hole sideways. Does your right eye get frozen, and then your left eye can see everything? Like, maybe, maybe, maybe that's what they need. They need drugs because when they're flying through the ship, like the front head of their the front part of their brain is going to go through the wormhole before the back head back of their brain. And so in order to keep that all together and functioning as a navigator, then you need the spice that makes your brain do super fast connections, and so, which we interpret as hallucinations. Okay, okay. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. And I, it doesn't look like they're navigating in between stars here. It looks like they just have a wormhole <laughs> that right? bypasses the whole problem altogether. You get a tunnel by one planet and a tunnel by another planet, and you just go in the tunnel. Go in the tunnel, yeah. Like, so I don't know I what hope, the star thing is. Yeah, hopefully we'll learn more about this and the interstellar travel because this is just looking at it looks fine to me. Maybe the Mentats. Yeah, okay, I'm still thinking that they're taking advantage of the Emperor. Like, <laughs> we need these drugs to navigate between the stars, and the and the, navig- and the Emperor is like, I'm not an astronomer. I don't know what it's like. Yeah. Okay, I guess so. Okay, okay. I also like spice. I like spice. <laughs>